In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can leverage the new Chrome DevTools Recorder to create Cypress tests via a new NPM package at Cypress Chrome Recorder. To start, let's go over what the new DevTools Recorder panel is. The goal of the DevTools Recorder panel is to make it easy to record, replay, and measure common user journeys in your website or application. To demonstrate this, let's create a new recording. Open up DevTools and find the Recorder panel. If it's not present, you may need to enable it. Click Start a New Recording and enter a recording name and selector attribute. Using a custom selector attribute is a Cypress best practice and will make the selectors in your exported tests easier to read. If you don't have one, that's fine. The Cypress exporter will be able to use the provided selectors with no problems. Next, we want to click Start a New Recording. You'll notice the first step of the recording is already done for you. It contains the page that you're on, it contains some metadata about that page, this is a desktop site, and the size of the page, 1198 by 1080 pixels. From here, I want to scroll and click around. I want to mimic the user journey of creating a new transaction in this real world application. So first, I go up to New, Every time I click, you'll see a new recorded step. If I drill down into that step, you'll see information like the step type, the selectors, you'll see my data test attribute that I specified earlier, as well as the position of the element on the page. Once I've clicked in the form input and typed something in, you can see another event type, change. This contains most of the same elements as a click step, with one difference, the value, which is a string that I just passed in. I'll go through a few extra interactions just to demonstrate what's being recorded. Now that I have a good recording of this specific user journey, I can end the recording. Once I've stopped the recording, I want to go to the header and click this icon and export as a JSON file. This will pop up the finder window on my computer and prompt me to save the file. Next, let's take that downloaded file and convert it to a Cypress test. For the next part, you'll need to start in a code base that has Cypress installed, since we want to save the exported file where Cypress looks for its end-to-end -end tests. You want to install the Cypress Chrome Recorder package globally by running npm i at cypress slash chrome recorder dash g. Once that's done, run the following to export the recording that you just created. By default, the export is output to Cypress slash integration. For this tutorial, I'm using the Cypress real world app. Because of that, I need to specify the output folder as Cypress slash test slash UI. This will create a new Cypress spec file. Once the test runner opens, we can run the exported file and see the recording in action. Let's take a look at the exported test itself to see how it's structured. The first two lines of our test set the viewport and visit the URL being tested. Other metadata that may be present in the DevTools recorder is not carried over at this time. Beyond that, each line represents a recorded step. As you can see, most lines are click type steps. Looking at a few of these, you can see why it's a best practice to have a custom selector attribute and to set that in the recording. The DevTools Recorder has a built-in selector editor, and by default, it does a good job of getting elements. However, you can see that this granularity, while it works, may not be the easiest to read or to debug in your tests. Another tip, you can also use Cypress's own selector playground located in the test runner to find selectors after you've exported and run your tests. In addition to click type steps, there are change type steps. These get exported as .type, since they indicate that a value has changed within an input. In conclusion, 
I hope that I've demonstrated how to get started using the new at Cypress slash Chrome Recorder package. As a reminder, this is experimental and in an early state. PRs, issues, and enhancement requests are welcome.